Orden February. How it's made. Today, on oh. how it's made. Oh, 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 oh. Wooden bowls. Who, who wooden. is this? Who is this? That's my line. Go away, woman. What? Oh, it's completely thrown me off. What are we? What are we even talking about today? Wooden bowls. Wooden bowls, like the bowls I'm used to eating my breakfast cereal from, but in a wooden mm. version. I would not use wooden though for my cereal, as it would soak up the milk. Well, not necessarily. If they varnish it just right, mm. sort of waterproof it, and make it out of non-absorbent wood. Yes, or. Uh, Laminated, I suppose you could. We start with a tree and put it through a machine and measure it. It's quite clever. Uh, trees are made of wood. So almost all the wood we use comes from trees. So they get a chainsaw and they chainsaw to pieces. This is how much wood they need to make one wooden bowl. They take the wooden tree and then they place their hand on it and they test it that it's wood. And the best way to tell if it truly is wood is if it's round. And this one is. So they go down the rollers, which is very cute. Yes, goodbye. And then they put the little template onto the wood. This one is a bowl template. Ah, look out! Oh dear. My god. A buzzsaw. Terrifying. They did not warn us that was going to happen. They're just... Out of nowhere. Now they're going to take this buzzsaw, another one, and take out its innards. <laughs> oh dear, it's, tri it's a triangle, that's not, not a bowl. I know, it's very cool though. You know what you could use that triangle for? For wooden triangles? Yes, or even some sort of Egyptian exhibit. Oh, Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That's very that dangerous. Looked, that was so dangerous. That could have flown off anywhere. Could have hit him in his head. Exactly. And oh my goodness, doing it again. Oh, he's doing it again. Frankly, it does hit him in the head. Uh, 13 people are killed every week in the production of wooden bowls. It's very dangerous. And it's very easily prevented. They just need a cover over this ridiculous machine. Mm. But they just refuse. It's, oh my uh, goodness. Well, we have a... Oh, they've made a bowl. It's got, oh, a, it's got, bowl. A, it's got a hole in it. They screwed it up. That was beautiful though. No, it wasn't. Very nice. No. Because Stupid machine. Oh my god, take the noggin off at the end. Oh yes. Oh, that's much better. It's a big bowl. Oh, and then they're uh, lathing it, I believe is the term, to make it very smooth. Very nice. And very nice, yes. I still disagree with uh, how dangerous this process is. But this is how they've been made since the beginning of time. And they ain't gonna change. Well, they're all made by Paul, who likes to do it very dangerous, because he likes to live on the edge. Yes, that's why they call him Panic Paul, because he makes everyone in the factory panic. And now I think he's actually just taking wood and putting it on that bowl to make more bowl. But Did actually, it's getting, it seems to be getting smaller. Is he just making smaller and... My God. My goodness. Wow. And here we have several uh, bowls Rex. we made earlier. Putting them into the steam room. I think this is so they are not absorbent and they will not take your milk. Now this is the staff sauna. And it's a little perk of living and working in this factory. But Paul always brings his bowls in. And it, it pisses everyone off. Because there's no room to relax when the sauna is full of bowls. So they take this wrapping majigger and wrap them up. Yes, not wrapping as in hip hop. Wrapping as in protecting it from the elements. And then they take another sander and sand the inside of the bowl. And also they... Oh, it looks a bit like a satin. Or maybe even a child's plaything. Yeah, it's one yeah. of those bippy boppers that you stand on. Yes, that you bounce around yes. the playground on. Yes. And now they're going to burn in oh. and, uh, a, a very nice design. I believe it's a Dutch dancing man. Dutch Village. Dutch Village. Established in 1958. So they dip it in the most disgusting water you can find. Yes, and this is just to make sure that anyone who buys the bowl gets germs from it. Because 
As well as being the number one factory for wooden bowls, they are also key players in germ warfare.